tell you I've absolutely worn out, but I love it. We're on a we're on a mission almost at the end now. We're almost there. And uh, yeah, been in good company. I've sussed out what programmage is about. It's been with other men, living life and doing life together, blisters and all. We're not quite sure whether this would be in the spirit of the seventh century saints, but we don't care. I believe this ice cream and was heaven sent. 23 degrees. It's 23 degrees. This ice cream is definitely God's blessing to me right now here on Canic Chase. Little pilgrimage is uh, coming to an end. We've got about eight miles to do. Uh, we've just had our final uh, lunch together and uh, we can look down into the valley and we can see uh, the cathedral city of Litchfield ahead of us which is our final destination and uh, you know what I'm going to miss doing this every part of me aches my feet have killed me at times uh, every one of our party has got something wrong with them <laughs> blisters ripped off toenails generally manky feet shin splints calf splints hip problems you name it we're in a way we are a sorry sight to see as we sort of uh, lurch along the road and yet I wouldn't have missed this for the world. I've learned a lot about myself uh, just uh, dealing with, with, if you like, some kind of pain and discomfort, the, the hardship of travel uh, but we've seen the beauty of the countryside, the slower pace of life as you walk, you talk to people uh, that you meet in the street, uh, you can be a blessing to them. Uh, it's it's just great to interact at that really slow pace of life, and the best thing about it has just been the the fellowship of the group of people that we've been with. Hello. 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 Welcome to Litchfield. Hello. Hello. Well done. Thank you very much. Hello. Welcome to Litchfield Cathedral and to this very special part of the cathedral, which is called in Latin the Pedalavium, which literally means the place of foot washing, where for hundreds of years pilgrims have been greeted with generosity and warmth and hospitality after long and short journeys and they've sat along these benches here, these stone seats perhaps enjoying the cool of the stone and have had their feet washed um, by the, the clergy, priests, um, friars of this cathedral. It is the only um, such structure in the country, the only cathedral church to have a pedalavium and it's always a great privilege for us to welcome groups of pilgrims here and to reenact that hospitality, indeed to live it out, for it is a very genuine welcome in the name of Christ in this holy house of St Chad. So the group this evening have, who've been walking the two saints way, very tired at the end of a, of a hot day, um, have sat on these stones, these places where pilgrims have sat for hundreds of years, uh, and hopefully we have welcomed them in the Lord's name to this place. We've uh, finished our um, pilgrimage and we've just arrived at uh, Litchfield Cathedral and uh, I have to say one of the most um, humbling moments I think I've ever felt. I've just had my feet and all, all our fellow travelers just had our feet washed by the uh, canon and verger of uh, Litchfield Cathedral uh, which is a, 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 a act of hospitality that was carried out in Jesus' time and during his ministry. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples and we've had a chance to pray at the, the shrine of uh, St Chad and uh, just to express our thanks uh, for bringing us here uh, safely and our gratitude for uh, people like 
Chad, who walked all across the land bringing the message of Christ so that uh, all may hear, all have salvation and all have eternal life. Amen to that.